Preparations also continuing at the uh, Tanagashima Space Center in southern Japan uh, for a launch of uh, the uh, HTV-2 or Kanatori-2 spacecraft that will be delivering uh, about 4.2 tons of cargo to the International Space Station. We can see a uh, rollout of the H-2B launch vehicle and the uh, enclosed Kanatori-2 spacecraft uh, beginning now in Tanagashima, Japan. Launch for that uh, vehicle is scheduled tonight at 11.37 p.m. Central Time, which is about 2.37 in the afternoon in Japan. Uh, the uh, launch was uh, delayed uh, by a couple of days uh, when uh, uh, clouds and potentially freezing uh, precipitation in the area of the launch pad uh, made it for unfavorable conditions. Right now, the uh, weather conditions are expected to be fair at launch time, although they're uh, supposed to be a little bit cloudy right now. The average uh, wind speed uh, for uh, today is expected to be about 15 to 22 miles an hour. And the uh, team at the Tadagashima Launch Center is expecting uh, uh, good weather for tonight's launch. As we continue to watch these uh, rollout pictures of the H-2B launch vehicle in uh, Tanagashima, Japan, uh, with uh, its uh, Kanatori-2 or H2, HTV-2 spacecraft uh, mounted atop, this is uh, the first of a uh, quick succession of international space supply trucks that are scheduled to arrive on the International Space Station's loading docks. Uh, during the early portion of this year. They're going to all in total drop off about 11 tons worth of food, computers, medical equipment, supplies, spare parts, and experiment gear for the station, uh, not to mention the uh, everyday necessities of life on orbit. Kanatori 2, uh, which means white stork in uh, Japanese, uh, is developed by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Uh, this is the second flight of the system to the International Space Station. On its heels will be the uh, 41st Russian Progress vehicle, which is set to launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on January 28th, and the second European Space Agency automated transfer vehicle, known as Johannes Kepler, set to launch... Uh, from a pad in Kourou, French Guiana on February 15th.
HTV-2 is a 33-foot long, 13-foot diameter spacecraft. Uh, allows for unmanned cargo transfers, both internal and external supplies for the station. All told, it has uh, about 4.2 tons of uh, cargo on board. And when it approaches the station on January 27, assuming uh, launch tonight as scheduled, astronauts uh, Katie Coleman, Scott Kelly, and Paolo Nespoli will use the space station's robotic arm to uh, reach out and grapple and berth it to the Earth-facing port of the Harmony module on the station. Altogether, the HTV-2 vehicle and cargo weigh about 35,408 pounds, or more than 16,000 kilograms. Total amount of, un of external unpressurized cargo that's being delivered is uh, 2,043 pounds, or 927 kilograms. Of that, about 1,990 pounds, or 900 kilograms of the external cargo is NASA cargo, and about 53 pounds, or 24 kilograms, is Canadian Space Agency cargo. Inside the uh, Conatory 2's pressurized environment will be uh, about 6,455 pounds of cargo. That's uh, 2,928 kilograms. 2,800 pounds of that is NASA cargo, and 3,600 pounds of it is uh, JAXA cargo. And it breaks down to uh, 1,389 pounds of crew provisions. 3,585 pounds of research equipment and supplies, 1,343 pounds of space station hardware, 108 pounds of computers and computer supplies, and 31 pounds of spacewalking equipment and supplies. We will have live coverage of uh, the uh, Kanatori 2 launch from Tanagashima in southern Japan tonight, with coverage scheduled to begin at 11 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control of Houston as we continue to watch these uh, rollout pictures of uh, the uh, Conatory 2 spacecraft on its H2, 
B launch vehicle at the Tanagashima Space Center in Japan. Uh, the latest word from uh, the environmental systems officer here in Mission Control about the upcoming Russian EVA-27 is that uh, the pressure uh, is stable inside the uh, Pierce airlock and uh, there are no impediments right now to uh, hatch opening. But we'll continue to watch this rollout as uh, H-2B rocket uh, and its uh, payload arrive at the launch pad in Tanagashima. The launch pad uh, clearly defined there by the two uh, uh, lightning protection towers on either side of the launch pad. Getting some great close-ups of the uh, workers that are following the uh, uh, mobile launch platform for the vehicle. for EV-1 and EV-2. Demating electrical umbilicals. Copy. EV-2's umbilical is uh, demated. Copy, Oleg. EV-1 uh, has the umbilical demated. Copy. Uh, close uh, the suit's electrical connector with MLI. Proceeding. Uh, closed on EV1s and then EV2s also closed. Happy Oleg. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, we are continuing to watch the arrival of uh, Conatory 2 and the H-2B launch vehicle at the Tanagashima Space Center launch pad. But we have gone ahead and uh, provided the audio now to NASA television for the uh, final preparations for the hatch opening for EVA number, Russian EVA number 27 aboard the International Space Station for Dmitry Kondratyev and Oleg Skropochka. They're in the process of uh, removing uh, their uh, umbilical connections to their spacesuits to uh, become uh, uh, spacecraft in their own right as they get ready to exit the hatch. EV-1, demated. Copy. Dimitri. You should have on your display CO2, uh, PO2 primary, and U battery. Uh, PO2 primary is 400, battery is 28. What about you, Dmitry? Uh, uh, 30.5 for U battery and PO2 is 404. Transition BSS to O2 closed. Okay, uh, installing caps right now on the fluid umbilicals. As soon as I'm done with that. O2 is closed on BSS. Uh, you can proceed with O2 closed. Copy. The pressure is 039. Copy. Okay, guys. You will uh, proceed with the hatch opening activities and uh, subsequent, uh, and we will talk to you. Uh, Ian, repress. Uh, you're going. You're doing well. I'm handing you over to Sergey. Thank you. Good luck.
Oleg Dmitry. Hi, Sergey. Hi. Uh, what's the pressure? In the compartment. Right. In uh, Mission Control uh, Moscow, uh, the uh, voice loops being handed over to Sergei Osipov, who will be uh, guiding the crew members uh, through their spacewalk as they get ready to open the hatches and steps outside of the pier's docking compartment. We are continuing to watch the arrival of uh, H-2B and the HTV-2, or Kanatori-2, White Stork spacecraft at the Tanagashima Space Center in Japan. You can proceed. All systems uh, also checking out properly, and the crew has been uh, given the go to prepare to open the hatch on the pier's airlock and uh, begin their spacewalk. And Oleg, I will read the stuff up to you. Right now, I seem to be doing all right. You have to make sure that the emergency closure uh, screws are 